Hi, uh, I'm Dan Connors, and uh, I am the founder of the, the gaming initiative at JDRF. JDRF is a global nonprofit that funds uh, research into treatments and cures for people living with diabetes, and, and hopefully will eradicate diabetes in their lifetime. My son was diagnosed when he was five years old, and that's how I got introduced into uh, what type 1 diabetes was. We had to adjust our eating habits, we had to adjust our caretaking habits, and we had to really help our son manage his diabetes so that we didn't have to worry about you know, things like lows, which are incredibly scary, and things like highs, which um, are really tough on his body and have long-term effects. So I do think there is the reality to it and, and the threat of people with type 1 who don't make it and the accidents that happen and the amount of danger around it. You know, these are very real facts about the disease. Basically, my job shifted from CEO of a game company to pancreas, which is something you just can't do uh, on your own. I was working at Telltale Games at the time, and we did a bundle with Humble Bundle in support of JDRF. And since that time, Humble Bundles have been a huge part of our strategy at JDRF. So we have uh, a bundle of multiple products with people that have a connection to type 1, whether it's caregivers like myself, we've included our Sam and Max Save the World, which I worked on, or people that are developers who have type 1 um, and have managed to build companies and build games and develop award-winning games um, like Super Meat Boy and Saturday Morning RPG. These guys are heroes of mine because when I look at them and see all they've been able to accomplish, it makes me hopeful to know that my son can have those opportunities and diabetes is something people can contend with and still do amazing things. We have some games where there are characters with type 1 diabetes that have done uh, nice representations. We Happy Few has a main character with diabetes. We Happy Few is a game that features a character, Ollie, who is diabetic. When he has low blood sugar, he gets really angry and starts yelling at people at random. Um, which is very dangerous because it's a stealth game and you have to pretend to be a normal, happy person. One of the things that is interesting to me is the way that uh, the medication and the, the need to monitor his blood sugar is actually part of the gameplay. For me, representing type 1 diabetes in my projects is kind of just, it's just part of my life, so it was just a natural thing. In Super Meat Boy, we had a little enemy and we called him Abetus. It was in the hospital level, so it made sense. In Super Meat Boy Forever, uh, I changed him up a little bit where he's still that little purple guy, but now he'll uh, suck you in and swallow you up and he chews on you and then he kind of just goes towards something dangerous. That's my weird way of, of dealing with this. When it comes to educating people, I think representation matters and the idea of a little enemy you can beat you know, if you just keep at it, you do have the power to overcome it in a way. I would say that my goal in representing type 1 diabetes in game development is just to show people that just because you have type 1 diabetes doesn't mean you can't follow your dreams. Since my son was diagnosed, JDRF has been part of my life. They reached out very early um, to make us feel like we were part of a community, and that's something that uh, I'll always remember and appreciate. Diabetes is kind of like a really evil boss, except he's on every level, he's probably every enemy, but defeating diabetes is a lot like managing a game. Finding a cure for type 1 diabetes would mean a lot to me. Obviously, it would give me the ability to live a more normal life, not have to check my blood sugar all the time, not have to adjust my insulin and give myself insulin every time I eat. Just being able to live a more normal life and a more healthy life. Having a cure for type 1 diabetes would be I can't even describe how amazing that would be. Every decision I make every single day has something to do with diabetes. All of these decisions take up a little bit of bandwidth, no matter what I do, and to have that gone would be amazing. The way gamers are and the way the gamer community is, is they really support each other. You know, and ever since I've been uh, in the business, I've seen this, and I, I knew the that if people knew that you were struggling, they would want to help. I want everyone to know that, that people with type 1 diabetes are capable of, of having great lives and doing great things, and they should be recognized for it. Celebrating the fact that people are able to push through and, and make so much happen despite what they deal with on a daily basis is, is a great thing. 